On the one hand, it is a kind of celebration of this new enlightened ideal of motherhood as the highest calling of women that, you know, sort of demands that women turn all of their attention to raising children, that they sort of retreat from the public sphere into an exclusively domestic role. And on the other hand, it's spectacularly accomplished. It's a bit of a show-offy kind of object created by an extremely ambitious and successful female artist who did not herself have children and who was also a fierce advocate for the role of women in the academy and in the sort of public space of the French art world. Adelaide Labillard is one of the most important female artists in Europe in the 18th century. In addition to being a successful portraitist um, and, and painter in her own right, um, a member of the Académie Royale de Peinture et de Sculpture, a rare honor for women artists in the period, she also um, runs an important teaching studio where she trains a whole cohort of female artists. It's an awfully beautiful portrait of a young woman with her two children, one of them a toddler, one of them an infant. She is very richly dressed in pale blue satin or silk, her powdered hair piled high with roses and orange blossom. There's a beautiful little still life sitting on the table beside her of a glass of red wine. But of course, the most arresting feature of this portrait is that she is actually breastfeeding her infant son. That is quite an unusual motif and um, really a signal of changing social mores in Europe at the time. In some way, the representation of breastfeeding is meant to send a signal about the sitter, about Madame Mitoir um, in this portrait, to show that she is a modern woman and a virtuous mother um, who is caring for her children in the way recommended by enlightened thinkers. So I think that that really is the primary motivation 